Hey folks, I've got a pretty short video for everyone today, and we're back to math today. I intend to make more videos about math and games in the near future, and of course any other bizarre ideas that spring forth from my brain. But for today, we have the question, what is the sum of all unique positive integers up to 100? Also written like this, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus blah 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 plus 100. Well, 100 numbers is a lot to add up, so we could potentially brute force it, but programming has taught me to think smarter, not harder. So let's simplify the example. Let's instead write down 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus blah 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 up to 10. With this, it's a little easier to brute force. We could just add together all these numbers, whether in our heads or by a calculator, to get that the result is 55. But let's recall an important fact about addition. Compound addition, that is, a bunch of additions, has another word that we know as multiplication. Let's look at the two outermost numbers, 1 and 10. 1 plus 10 is 11. But then, let's next look at the next two innermost numbers, 2 and 9. This is also 11. And so are 3 and 8, and so are 4 and 7, and so are 5 and 6. All of these sum up to 11. So to add all these numbers together, we're just adding up a bunch of 11s. How many 11s? Well, by my count, that should be 5. So 11 times 5 equals 55. This is all well and good, but it's just an example. We need to determine how to get these values for any arbitrary sum. The next part is by no means a proof, but I hope it will be evident enough by my description that you'll understand why it's true. Okay? Okay. So let's go back to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus blah 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 all the way up to 100. The outermost numbers are 1 and 100. That's 101. The next pair is 2 and 99. That's 101. So we're adding up a bunch of 101s. How many 101s? Well, each 101 is composed of two of the numbers in the sum. And there's 100 numbers in the sum. So that means it should be a number of 101s equal to half the number of numbers, which is 50. So 101 times 50 equals 5,050, which is the value of this sum. Again, this is not a proof, but it's evidence pointing toward the conveniently true statement that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus blah 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 all the way up to plus n is equal to n plus 1 multiplied by n all divided by 2 for any positive integer n. I'd like to go into a little bit more detail about this sum at another time, as it is very interesting, and it's a common use case for explaining the principle of proof by induction. But for now, I hope you appreciate this neat little trick. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.